does Russia have the right to differ from the European Union and the United States on how to proceed when it comes to armed conflicts? Because we certainly don't like the European or American vision of uh, the Middle East, at least uh, how it was has been realized to this day. Well, uh, on, on uh, situations of armed conflict, I, I, I'm, I personally am very grateful to Russia speaking out on, on some of these foreign conflicts. I, I think that in my lifetime, uh, America has made two ghastly mistakes. Um, firstly, the Vietnamese War was a, was a ghastly mistake. Um, and the Iraq um, intervention was, was a ghastly mistake. And in fact, as a group of business people, we, we tried to persuade Saddam Hussein uh, to go and live in Libya in order to uh, avoid that war. And um, sadly, the bombing started and, and, and it wasn't averted. So, you know, I think that there's no question that um, the, the leaders in America and, and to an extent in Britain have made some dreadful mistakes and, and the vast majority of British people believe that. Um, and uh, so, uh, you know, so, but I don't think, I don't, you know, I, I think um, uh, it was, uh, you know, Tolstoy that said that wisdom, you know, has uh, no need for violence. Um, and I think great, great leaders uh, resolve uh, issues Non-violently, and, and East Ukraine, uh, you know, we, we, it, it is incredibly important that next week those talks go well, and, and that we can, we and, and that people can live in peace in Ukraine. I mean, I've had uh, so many letters from you from children in Ukraine who, who are in in in, in this mess, um, and you know, I mean, for instance, you know, Scotland and England, um, I mean, it, it is voting whether to go independent from England next month. You know, if in you know, five years' time, East Ukraine uh, decide they want to go independent. Um, for, you know, from from West Ukraine, you know, let them vote on it, and that you know that that can be the kind of compromise that can be discussed next week.